Good evening. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of the day. Today's broadcast. Legislative elections of 2023 of Western Armenia. Sons of Western Armenia. Gevor Kulijanyan. On the issue of Armenians of Western Armenia. Yerevan passport departments will serve displaced people from Artsakh. Every Armenia value in Jerusalem will remain Armenian. Moscow welcomed the joint statement of Eastern Armenia in Baku. France will give 15 million euro to Eastern Armenia. Support Western Armenian TV. The Electoral Commission of the Parliament of the Republic of Western Armenia presents below the official list of candidates for the 2023 legislative elections for the Parliament of Western Armenia. You are invited to participate in the elections for future Parliament of the Republic of Western Armenia. All you have to do is to fill out the request form and apply. The voting form will be open from December 8 to December 15 in 2023. Gevor Gulijanyan was born on May 23, 2002 in Horatak, village of Martagert. He was uh, one of the immortal heroes of the 44-day war. Gevor was orphaned on both sides and lived with his aunt and grandmother in Zahkung. He has achieved many successes in sports, took mostly first and second positions. He went to serve on July 9, 2020 in one of the military units of the Marduni region of Artsakh, then moved to Haikazov. He had been a servant for a few months when he enlisted in the war. On November 2, Gevork was immortalized by an artillery shell during the stubborn battles for Shushi. After Gevork's death, a tree named after Gevork was planted in Haverzuneri Burak, uh, memorial under number 305. Gevor Kulijanyan was posthumously awarded by the Medal of Marta Kantara Yutsun. At the end of January 1918, after the fall of Yarzenga, the Turkish army, one after one, occupied the regions which were previously under the control of Russian army and moved towards Katyn. The mighty fortress city that was considered the key of Western Armenia was occupied by a tiny 5,000 strong Russian army in 1916, at the beginning of February. In addition, there was a rather well-armed Turkish population of about 25,000 in Karin, who were eagerly waiting for Vahib Pasha's army. The Ministry of Internal Affairs of Eastern Armenia issued a statement according to which properly organized the registration and documentation apparatus of people who were forcibly displaced from Artsakh and taken under temporary protection by Eastern Armenia. In Yerevan Regional Passport Departments of Migration and Citizenship Service of the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Eastern Armenia upcoming Saturdays on December 9, 16 and 23 in this year are to be set as working days. The Armenian Patriarch of Jerusalem, Nura Archbishop Manukyan, visited the Armenian district of the Old City of the Fenced part of the Co Garden and expressed his support for activists to save the neighborhood. The movement reports this on his X blogs. Every Armenian thing will remain Armenian, the Patriarch assured. Manukyan also discussed with activists the further steps on preserving Armenian community. Moscow was pleased to accept the joint statement of the administration of the head of Baku and the office of the Prime Minister of Eastern Armenia, which confirmed the mutual intention to regulate relations and sign a peace treaty between the two countries. The spokesperson of the Eurasian Foreign Ministry, Maria Zakharova, issued a statement about this. We welcome the agreement between Baku and Yerevan regarding the release of Armenian and Azerbaijan servicemen. Russia consistently promoted the idea of exchanging detained persons on the principle of all, all for all. This contributes to the mutual strengthening of trust and opens new opportunities for promoting the process of normalization of Armenian and Azerbaijan relations. According to the Russian Foreign Ministry, Moscow also welcomes Yerevan's decision as a gesture of goodwill in favor of Azerbaijan to withdraw its country's candidacy to host in the 29th of session of the Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change in November 2024, as well as Baku's decision to support for Eastern Armenia's candidacy for membership in the COP Bureau. As long as Artsakh remains under the occupation of Azerbaijan, armed and terrorist forces and the genocide of Armenians of Artsakh is not compensated, the government of Western Armenia considers unreasonable any negotiations with the authorities of Baku. 
The French Parliament has approved the disbursement of 15 million euros to Eastern Armenia and Artsakh refugees, reports the French Foreign Ministry. The allocated funds will be used to Armenian Red Cross and the United Nations to provide social, medical, education and financial assistance to groups. The total amount of aid directed to urgent medical aid has also been provided to Armenia. Several injured who suffered from burn have already been treated in French hospitals, the message stated. Support Western Armenian TV. Western Armenian television being loyal to its principles and our TV viewers and continues its uninterrupted work with the approaches. As we already know, our television does not engage in self-promotion. It broadcasts mainly political and other contexts related to the uh, history, present and future of Western Armenia. We also present the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. With your support, the possibilities of our television will be further expanded and strengthened. We are strong together.